Hi, my name is Charity and I work in children's services at the downtown branch of the St. Albert Public Library. I'm excited to be here with you today for another STEAM challenge and today we are going to do some experiments and hopefully some art all around natural dyes and pigments. So all you really need for this challenge are some dandelions. This is actually what inspired this challenge for me because they are very easy to locate at this time of year. You are also going to need a piece of paper. Those are the two things that you need, but you have a lot of other options. You might want to incorporate in a pencil or a felt for when it comes to the um, drawing or art aspect of it. And you can look around and see what you have that you can experiment with for making color. Two things that I found that I might suggest are grass, again, another very easy thing to find, or some flower petals. But again, the only thing you really need are those dandelions. So after you've gathered your items, you might want to check and see what color they leave on a piece of paper. Some of these are pretty easy to predict and some of them might not be what you expect. So for the dandelion, pretty easy to predict. We're going to guess yellow and yes, we do get a nice yellow from that. We can always even go back over with a second one and brighten it up. Grass. I think you can predict what color we are going to get from grass. But one thing I found with grass was that it was actually pretty challenging to get the color down on the paper. So I have to be persistent and use a little bit of force. But once you kind of break through. There we go. Got a pretty nice vibrant green, which is what I would have predicted and I'm guessing you as well. Flower petals. I want to make sure you can see this color here. There we go. And when we rub it on the paper, what kind of mark do we get? say that is kind of uh, magenta color and not necessarily what I would have expected looking at the petal. So I have three colors here that I can work with, but I think today I am just going to focus on this beautiful dandelion yellow. And I wanted to mention that another thing that you can do as an experiment is you can check and see whether or not any of these natural dyes are fugitive. So fugitive means that it fades or changes color over time. So you can always keep your sheet and maybe check back in a couple of days or a week and see whether or not it's faded. You can always take some of the same item, make a mark beside it and see if it looks the same or if it's changed. For today's challenge, I thought that it might be fun to make a dandelion out of a dandelion. So I am going to take my piece of paper and a dandelion. And when you are drawing, sometimes the direction of your lines can make a big difference. So for this here, I am going to use some short little strokes here to kind of get that dandelion shape. And what I mean is it might be you would get a different result if you were making kind of a circular motion or you could make a long horizontal motion. Those lines are going to make a difference in how your drawing looks. I'm going to get another dandelion here and just try to kind of brighten that color up. There we go. You can see that I'm getting a little bit of green in there and that green is coming from the green that is on the outside there. And if you don't want that, what you can do is you can actually just peel that away or pull it down to make sure that all you have is the 
yellow part of the dandelion. But I'm actually going to make use of it right now and turn it on its side and use that part of the dandelion to color in the dandelion's stem. And I can always try, once it runs out of color on that spot, you might just want to flip it around and find a new spot or a new piece. And it's going to keep going here. There we go. Starting to get a dandelion leaf. So there is a dandelion drawn with a dandelion. And my challenge to you is to think of what other things you could do, some other pictures or experiments using that natural dye. Whatever you do, uh, feel free to share it with us. We love to see what you've made and be sure to tune in next week for another STEM challenge.